Welcome to the Strategic Tactical Group channel where we're going to focus on safety, survival, preparedness, and efficiency. Hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, it's Chris again. I've got a project that I'm working on. The problem that I'm trying to solve is, as some of you know, my wife has some chickens. Okay, She's picked up chickens. She's kind of fallen in love with these little animals. And during the winter, their egg production slows down to almost nothing. And from what I've heard is it's due to the lack of the sun because the days are shorter, the chickens won't produce as many eggs. And then their water will also freeze up at night because it gets so cold. And then we have to go out, we have to dump out this block of ice if we can get it out. And then we have to take and fill it back up with water. And we have to do that every 24 hours. So what I'm hoping to do is solve two problems. Make an alarm clock for the chickens as well as make a water heater for them. Now let me show you what I've got inside this plastic tote. This plastic tote I picked up at Lowe's Hardware. It's a 14 gallon. I picked it up for $8. Right here is a 10 foot 16 gauge extension cord from Harbor Freights for $6. This is a power inverter. It's the same style that I showed you on the video of stuff that I keep in my car. It's a 200 watt with a 400 watt max. Paid $15 for that with a coupon. Came with these wires down here that have, sorry that's probably pretty loud. Came with these wires right here that I've opted to go with that will just clip onto a battery. The battery I have, but you don't see that because it's going to go where the, the uh, tripod is for the camera right here. It's a little 12 volt battery. Then these other wires, with these clips came with this charge controller and the wires for this were extremely long so what I did is I cut off the length that I needed and then I installed the rest right here and all I did was hot glue gun the wires right here so it's a little bit cleaner and it just kind of keeps them out of the way the inverter hot glue gunned charge controller I just hot glue gunned along the edge over here I also have this solar panel Okay, it's a 25 watt, 12 volt panel. Came with the wires already installed on the back, so I'm going to hook the wires inside here to the wires on the back of here. Okay. The reason I'm gonna do that is it will give me a little bit extra length that I need to put the panel where I want to on the roof of the chicken coop. Then I have two of these. This little kind of outlet or light bulb fixture We'll plug in to the um, extension cord or it will plug into a, a power box. I'm not sure if I'm going to just put in a power box inside the chicken coop and then hook this into it or what I'm going to do. But then I have two of these little tiny 15 watt light bulbs. These light bulbs will screw into there. This will in turn plug into either the extension cord or the outlet that will be in the chicken coop. And then this, this whole setup right here, will be set or hooked into a, a light timer. Okay, I'll turn on the power switch that's hooked to the battery. The power switch will have the timer, or the inverter will have the timer plugged into it. The extension cord will go from the timer inside of the chicken coop. All right, I'll show you the chicken coop here in just a minute. So you have somewhat of an idea of, of what I'm working with. The chicken coop I actually built for her Mother's Day last year. It cost me about $300 or so to build it, but it's really cool. So let me take you outside and I'll show you what I've got. Hey everybody. Okay, I'm gonna show you what our chicken coop is. Uh, I built this in our garage and then we kind of put it into place by uh, using our tractor and some backhoe forks that I purchased for, or not some backhoe forks, some forklift forks. I don't know how well you can see me with the glare, but. Here is the chicken coop. Okay, that's where five of the chickens are. I think it took me about three days or so to build it. The pipe there on the left, the big one, is actually in a summer water. You got a drain out on the bottom. I just dump water in up at the top. It goes down, there's two nipples on the bottom so the chickens can go ahead and, and uh, drink from it. The other pipe, was a summer water for indoors. Same thing, I just put water in there. It goes down inside, there's two nipples, they could come and come and drink from it. That's a little window that I put in so they could get some sunlight. 
and this is the nesting box. They're squawking and making noise. They want to come out, so. And here they come. There's three, four, five, and then the third one is down here. This one's kind of a loner because we tried putting them together, but this chicken here would attack these other ones and chase them and rip its feathers out. So that one's just kind of a loner right now. Uh, that's the little chicken coop for it. And then the, lock, the little walkway thing that I made for it. Um, the reason we haven't put them back in, in together is like I said, the one down on the ground tried attacking the others. And it was just better off that we keep them separated. So uh, there was another chicken with it that vanished. <laughs> we don't really know where it went. We think maybe an animal got it or something like that. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually taking and putting the solar panel probably on this lower portion facing south so that it can get as much sun as possible but I've got to see if I've got to see if the wiring is long enough for me to allow the the plastic tote down on the ground with the solar panel up on top and then I'm probably going to take and put a hole right in the side here to run the cord in and then I'll have the light inside and then the water, okay, and I'll show you the water idea or the water heater melter here in just a second. Let me show you what happened to a little loafing shed we built. We had a horse a couple years ago and it went blind and we built this loafing shed for it before we realized it was blind. And as you can see, there's no roof. The roof all caved in, snapped the plywood, the two by fours, the two by sixes, just destroyed it. So. This summer, I think this thing's going to come down. I'll see what wood I can salvage on it and what we can use it for. So that's where I'm at right now with the alarm clock and the water, uh, the water heater for the chickens. I also put in a little door right there for them to come in and out. And then their little walkway is right there. It's kind of buried. I'm going to repaint that or paint it this summer and try and get this more permanently mounted. Uh, it's on four four by fours and it was actually a lot of fun to make had a friend help me with it uh, I didn't think about doing a video on it at the time but we'll probably repaint it again so it's nice and bright red and white for for the summer um, the piano hinges down at the bottom I don't know how well you can see these the board that they're resting on actually came undone over there so I'm gonna have to take and raise that up I'm gonna put some pretty good sized screws inside of it uh, to keep that up there and then this portion from this white post to that white post over there is actually a door that folds down. And the reason I did that is so we can clean it out. Because right now we've got wood shavings on the inside of it. And my wife absolutely loves these chickens. And I think they're the dumbest things in the world because they're just not smart. Um, that allows you to clean out all the shavings and the chicken poop and everything else. We put it in a wheelbarrow and then we'll go and put it into our garden area. So uh, we know that there's some eggs on the inside because the chickens decided to take and move their eggs from the nesting box down here somewhere so maybe we'll try and see if we can't find some of those here in a minute as well so let me try and get some stuff going and I'll show you here in a minute <laughs> weird chickens I wish I could remember what these red chickens were. I can't. Uh, 